You're watching, watching me on, on Aussie, Aussie Beach, Beach TV. TV. Get your tangy tangerine now from Aussie Beach TV. G'day, we're down here at Pacific Fair with Sadell today. Sadell, can I ask you a few questions, yeah, please? Sure. Awesome. So, why did you come here today? Uh, Christmas money in my wallet. Um, Boxing Day sales. Uh, I'm escorting three lovely young ladies. Uh, Did you get any good bargains today, do you think? Heaps. Heaps? Which one was your favourite bargain? Uh, two pair of leather shoes for 90 bucks. Sure did, everything under 10 bucks. Oh, I got a sweet shirt for 5 bucks. What's uh, your favourite? I bought Arkham City, like, the game. And I also got a bunch of other stuff, but that's the most important one. Did you go to any shops that were Australian made or owned? Um, I think Whitner is Australian owned, mm -hmm. but I'm not 100% sure. And um, I also think I went to Country Road, which is Australian, mm -hmm. and um, Sports Girl, which is Australian. No, nah, dude, I don't. You got yeah. no clue where it was made? It's a good game, though. Um, I don't know. What Definitely it? overseas. Overseas. Definitely, Definitely overseas. went overseas for five bucks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've, no, I've seen made in China tags on pretty much everything I've bought since I was like I eight, so. Made, yeah, I bet everything on here has a tag saying made in China. I bet Probably you this flag. Australian tag has a tag. Unfortunately, my bikini was made in China too. Are you aware of what Australia's current national debt is? Um, I'm not 100% sure, no. Probably about 30 billion? Nah. It's a big one. No. Um, no, but I assume it's heaps. No. Lots. Lots? Lots. Could you give us an estimate? What do you a, think it'd be? It'd be a billion or more. Have yeah. Would you be surprised if I were to tell you that Australia's current national debt is actually $560 billion? No, not really. Yes. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I told you, it's heaps. In dollars. $560 billion is what we owe. Yeah. She's surprised. You're, You're watching, watching me on, on Aussie, Aussie Beach, Beach TV. TV. Have you heard of the Lima Declaration? No. No. No? No. I didn't know lemurs could talk. No, it kind of sounds like llama. No, like, no idea. In 1975, it was a trade agreement that was signed which gave incentives for us to move our manufacturing base overseas to developing countries. Okay. Yeah. And were you also aware that nowadays approximately 90% of the things that we buy are actually made in foreign countries? No, I wouldn't be surprised. Yep. Yep, doesn't surprise you? No, because I also import. <laughs> So they approved that in 1975, yeah. That, that's a bit, bit dumb. How does it make you feel though? Um, as long as, I mean, I can understand why. Mm. So, and it, it's just competitive. Like, we have to stay competitive internationally because if we manufacture things here, we're not going to export them anywhere anyway. So it's a, you, you know, how do, where do you draw the line? Makes you feel angry. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> Generally. Um, I don't know. I don't know much about it really. I'd have to research it. True. Um, oh, it's pretty disappointing. It's pretty sad that like kids are making all our clothes and stuff and like we just, you know, we take everything for granted over here anyway. I'm just wearing this top. I'll throw it out in like a week. What do you think are some of the things that we as Australians can do to support Australian made and owned products and companies? Um, I think we need to encourage more people to work regionally because that's where we're importing workers to. And I think Australians need to probably get a little bit off their high horse and get off the do, well, do the jobs that we're paying immigrants to do. Um, look for the Australian label. Yeah. Um, like made in Australia. And yeah, buy, buy an Australian companies and stuff. Yeah, yeah. definitely yeah. wouldn't buy anything from China or any Asian country, <laughs> apart from the dumplings. I think Australians shouldn't be lazy. I think we should just get up, do something about it, say, well, you know what, I want our brand back and I want people to make my clothes so they last. Would you be willing to work in a sweatshop scenario to achieve the same low cost as in overseas? Um, we used to. I come from a town where, um, like, a bra factory was our main employer. Wow. So, 
everybody worked in the bra factory, they worked in the meatworks, they worked in all of these places and we used to, so why not go back to it? Yeah, never. See, no, that's the problem. No, I, I, I wouldn't do that, but I just, it. yeah, not, not, not my cup of tea, like more into jobs where I can kind of do nothing and get away with it. But then people wouldn't be getting enough money to buy it in the first place. No, no, no. Aussie TV. You're watching me on Aussie Beach TV. Aussie 